Hi, I'm Gavin Simone, and I help engineers get licensed in Canada. Today, we'll focus on how to prepare for your NPP exam from home. Let's explore some essential tips and lesser known facts to ensure you're fully ready for exam day. If you have a medical condition, let your association know prior to your exam, and you might be granted extra time or comfort breaks. Let's next look at preparing your space. Choose a quiet room in your home. This is crucial. Make sure it's free from distractions. Turn off phone notifications and inform others in your home that you'll be taking an important exam. A calm environment will help you focus. Ensure you have a reliable internet connection. An ethernet connection is preferred over Wi-Fi to minimize any potential disruptions during the exam. If you can um, have a hotspot as a backup from your phone, that's a great option. Next, test your internet speed beforehand. Aim for at least 10 me megabytes per second for a smooth experience. Next, we wanna test and check your equipment. So do this a few days before your exam. Run the computer system checks available on the Measure Learning platform. This includes testing your webcam, microphone, and speakers. Remember, you can only use one monitor, so disconnect any additional monitors to avoid complications. You must have a government-issued photo ID, like a driver's license, ready for verification. Without it, you won't be able to take the exam. Make sure it's valid and includes your signature. On exam day, log in at least 15 minutes early. Once connected, don't log off if there are delays. This could be interpreted as canceling your exam. Think of it like boarding a flight. Once you're on, stay put until takeoff. During the proctoring process, expect to show your workspace via webcam. You'll need to pan around uh, the room and show your desk area to ensure compliance with exam security protocols. Your phone should be out of reach. This may seem a little invasive, but it's essential for maintaining the integrity of the exam. Let's look at exam rules and breaks. Be aware of what's allowed during this 2.5 hour exam. You can bring water in a clear bottle, but no notes or pens are permitted. You're allowed one comfort break, but be quick as the timer won't stop during this time. If there are any technical issues arising during your exam, report them immediately to your proctor through the chat feature. This is crucial because issues must be addressed on the same day, otherwise, options for resolution become limited. The exam runs from Monday to Wednesday. If your sitting is on Monday and you experience technical difficulties on your side or on the proctor side that prevents you from finishing your exam, reach out to your association by phone and email right away. In some cases, applicants have been allowed to write later in the week. Finally, after completing your MPPE, you'll receive results in two to three weeks. Take a moment to fill out the feedback survey about your experience. It helps to improve the process for future candidates. Good luck with your NPPE. Stay calm, follow these tips, and you'll do great. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content and see our links in the description below for more licensing help.